Well, history was made today as Katanji Brown Jackson was sworn in as the first black woman to serve as a justice on the Supreme Court. Gael Amazon Ivory, the Dean of Students at Wilberforce University, is joining us now to talk about the impact of this moment. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Uh, Judge Jackson is only the third black justice to be appointed to the Supreme Court. What does her presence on the court mean to black America? Thank you for having me. It means so much to have someone on the bench who looks like me, who represents me and may possibly reflect some of the thoughts and opinions that I have. I think she shows that despite resistance that we as a black community face regularly, that you can still persist and be successful. She is a light at the end of a very oppressive racist tunnel oftentimes. And I think she's a shining example of what hope looks like for, for black America. Hey, you covered a lot of it, but Judge Jackson is also the first black woman to ever become a Supreme Court justice, and it's the first time that four women are serving on the court at once. What does her appointment mean specifically to black women? I think there's implications for all communities, but I think what strikes me as this is that this is a moment of celebration for black women. I'm in, in awe of our magic regularly. We show up. We are engaged and despite resistance and oppression, we persist and we do well. And I think that her appointment for black women is an example of where we can go. And despite all the odds and all the different messages that we receive every day, she shows that you can still make it and be successful. I think it's an example for all communities, not just black women, for all women and anyone who wants to, to do something with their life, to to serve as a judge, to serve as a public servant, which I see this role as you're serving the public. And black women, I think, are often called to serve despite not being served ourselves. Yeah, and Judge Jackson is now joining the court while it currently has a 6-3 conservative majority, meaning for the time being, Judge Jackson will likely be on the losing side of many upcoming cases, which could include the role of race and college admissions, congressional redistricting and voting rights. What do you anticipate the influence that Judge Jackson might have on the court's decisions? I think this is such an interesting question when you talk about a losing side, because you talk about six folks voting versus three. And the people who are losing are the hundreds of millions of people who are implicated by the court's decisions. And the folks on the court may not necessarily be affected by the very major decisions that they make. So I think that's something that the court should keep in mind. They have an opportunity to be mindful of the hundreds of millions who are implicated by their choices. And I think the influence that she has is really by virtue of her presence. Being the first black person, black woman, excuse me, to serve on the court shows that we can be present and engaged. And I think that I think that uh, the court, again, they have an obligation to be a service to the public. And that includes our most vulnerable populations. I know oftentimes we think about how this serves the majority, but sometimes when we serve the majority, we oppress and leave out our most vulnerable folks. And those folks deserve to be survive and thrive as well. So I think her, her presence on the court, I think, is an example of hope. But also, I think it can show the other folks on the court that we have to be mindful of all of the Americans, not just the ones who've been, who've been served so far. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time here for today. Gail Amazon Ivory, the Dean of Students at Wilberforce University. Thank you for the conversation and for joining us on Five on Two tonight. Thank you.